In this video, we'll talk about Itaxia telangiectasia. This is for USMLE step one and it's a high yield video. Itaxia telangiectasia is one type of uh, disorder that results in decreased T and B cell activity. Itaxia stands for uncoordinated movement and uncoordinated walking gates. And telangiectasia refers to blood vessels underneath the skin, which looks like a spider-like vessel. So in ataxia, the common symptoms include uncoordinated movement. There is the part that are affected in the body is the brain, especially the cerebellum. Obviously, the spider-like uh, veins and uh, blood vessels are very much uh, kind of like common in this particular disease. The patients with ataxia telangiectasia has reduced B cell and T cell numbers and they are highly uh, susceptible to many infection. So this comes under an, one type of immunodeficiency. In this video, we will try to understand why T and B cells are less in number or non-functional. Okay, let's talk about the clinical triad of ataxia. So the clinical triad includes three things. Cerebellar defects, which is ataxia, spider angiomas, which is telangiectasia, and IgA deficiency. So these are the three important symptoms. Remember always that cerebellum is the particular portion which is essential for motor coordination. And when there is a defect in cerebellum, most likely it would result in ataxia. IgA is a secreted version of antibody and this is important for many immune aspects. And that is also deficient in these patients. So let's talk about the biology behind that. Whenever we have a double-stranded DNA break in our genome, it raises a kind of like an alarm signal. And this kind of damages are detected by kinases known as ATM or ATR. So these kinases are actually double-strand break sensors. These kinases are produced by specific genes. And whenever they find this kind of double-stranded DNA break, they prevent the cell cycle and they kind of create a pause in the cell cycle, giving the cell enough time to repair that break and then restart the cycle. Obviously, if there is a problem in the sensing mechanism, there could be problem in overall aspect of the cell cycle. So ATM is actually encoded by a specific gene. And in ataxia telangiectasia, this particular gene is mutated. That means a functional ATM product is not produced. As a result, what happens? There is a failure to detect DNA damage. That result, re results in failure in halting the progression of cell cycle. And that can cause so many mutations in the genome. But what is the fun functional relation between ATM mutation and developmental defect in T or B cells? Why it is at all necessary? Let's understand that. So while B cells and T cells are maturing, they need to under their receptors, the B cell receptor and the T cell receptor need to undergo VDJ recombination. VDJ recombination is very important for both T cells and B cells. And this is a recombination process which requires double-stranded DNA break and also repair machineries. If you want to learn more about VDJ recombination, there is a video which is linked in the i button or in the description. Also, for B cell maturation, there is an, an, another important step which is isotype switching. Detail video is again in the i button, but isotype switching produces different variants of antibodies. For example, by default, IgM is the key antibody isotype, but eventually based on the infection, based on the cytokines that are produced, IgG, IgA would be produced. So isotype switching is key factor for B cell maturation. But again, isotype switching requires this kind of specific recombination like mechanism, which requires DNA uh, break. Now in both VDJ recombination and isotype switching, Double-stranded DNA break formation is really important and that has to be sensed by ATM, further repaired by repair machinery. Most of these cases, the non-homologous end joining machinery detects this kind of uh, problems and uh, fix that. But once ATM is mutated, the sensor is gone 
and both these pro key essential processes for B cell and T cell development is abrogated. And that is why the patient with AT, uh, ataxia telangiectasia has low level of T cell and B cell count. So now we understand the biology of it. But let's talk about the clinical features that we have to understand and remember. So in these patients, there is a high level of alpha fetoprotein, low level of IgA, IgG or IgE or any kind of like isotype because isotype switching doesn't happen in ataxia telangiectasia. Also, there is a lymphopenia, cerebellar atrophy, I mean, developmental defect of the cerebellum, and also risk of uh, lymphoma and leukemia is increased in these patients. So I hope this was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. You can get more notes and flashcards uh, in our Instagram or Facebook page. Do visit that and please support our channel using super thanks. See you in next video.